to the YouTubers 450 here from like my third time <laughs> recording this. All of the times failed, but I'm gonna teach you how to make a hologram in Motion 5. I mean, like, I'm gonna do a very basic one. Like, I'm not that good at Motion 5, but if you're better at it, then you can look into it more. But I'm gonna do it for the beginners. Um,. So far, if you want to set your duration to whatever you want, I'm going to make it ooh, 15 seconds, okay? Okay, that's a big thing. It looks very complicated. It really isn't. So, um, okay, I don't want those random settings, but so if you put it in, just want to drag it at the very beginning. Also, you definitely want to make it fit. So now, all I'm doing right now. Okay. I'm going to delete it up till there because of that, that part I don't need. And then. Okay. okay. This part, like, just makes better. So, okay, I want it to come in there. It's so right there. Take that tool. Uh, yeah, er, er, rectangle, and put it where you want the hologram to be. Then go on your inspector. Fill color. I'm gonna make it around that. I like that. Fill opacity. I want that to be 50%. Otherwise, it will not look realistic. Right now, it really doesn't matter. But, ooh, outline. And I'm gonna add an outline a different way. But also, then you take your 3D tool. And then you kind of want to make it facing towards the person. That way it looks a bit more realistic. Then, what you want to do is go to your library, do generator, generator, and then I like the membranes. That always looks cool. Then you drag it in going to be huge. Hold shift so you can shrink it without actually making the image really stupid. I need to hold shift a lot. But then also, you also want to take this and make it facing towards the person. And then, what we have so far is uh, this. Sorry. Sorry, sorry for the background noise. And then, um, I'm gonna go right here. And make a motion full screen or as full as I can make it. And then just turn everything right there. Good. So everything is right there. Ah. Crap. Exactly. Try to trim it exactly. Do the best I can. But. So now. Mm, I like adding in. A, um. A st um, a star. I don't know why, but um, no, I actually want a. Um, a lens flare. So drag it in. It's gonna be huge again. Hold shift. And shrink it down. You can do as many like things. 
as you want. This is going to be bigger than that. I'm going to center it out. And I'm going to take my 3D tool, turn it towards me. It's really not going to do much for the lens flare, but trust me, it's done something. Maybe not much, but something. So, yeah. Just keep messing around with that. And so you get something like this. So you can get really advanced, like, have it whenever you touch it, something pops up. You can even screen record your computer and drag that in and tilt it. You can do all sorts of stuff. But, yeah. That's basically it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.